taking over the streets. We work it. Working this city exclusively on streets 94. Five. Holidays, holidays, holiday season. Holidays. All right, we got some not so happy couple news type things going on at the top of the news here. It's Splitsville for Paula Patton and Robin Thicke. I think we kind of saw this coming. Hey, man, look. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to put this down. out there, Brooke. What? She don't look the same. Something wrong with her face or something like Aww. that. And I think she's like a robot or something. Well, maybe she... What? <laughs> Not for real, because she don't look the same. Y'all got to know that from the first... She's stressed the, out, though. She's stressed, you know, man. The early movie, she broke her neck or something. I promise <laughs> you, man. Wow. You got to look at the, you gotta <laughs> they, look at the movies. They've been married for 10 years since 2000. Five, it says here, and uh, they've just decided to split. I'm sure it has to do with these women that he's been, like, you know, been gallivanting with and squeezing booty, booties. Their joint statement says, We will always love each other and be best friends. However, we have mutually decided to separate at this time. So, well, she's that's on the market. That. He uh, is on the I think he was on the market while he was married, actually. <laughs> All right, Ludacris wants to do something really shocking in this custody battle. He's actually fighting for custody of this kid that he had on his break from uh, his girlfriend. The rapper is saying that he wants to file legal documents because he says that he's fit and capable parent of taking care of this baby, which allegedly is better than the 15, girl. 15000 a month. I mean, I would. <laughs> uh. He has a, a parental resume that he's submitting saying he's always been an active father of his 12-year-old girl, so that means he should have custody of the kid. So. Well, he's the rich one, so I'm going go with that. <laughs> if anything, he should have at least joint custody. He's here in Atlanta, too. So, All right, Jermaine Dupree, not so good news for him. He's facing a $1 million lawsuit. Radar Online is reporting that he's being sued by one of his former business partners. Uh, over royalties in a merger deal. So, mm -hmm. not so good news for him. It was filed in Fulton County, so I'm sure we'll be updated through the AJC on that. And there's a rumor going around that Bossup is reporting that Black China and Tyga have, like, a domestic violence type Whew. relationship. They even posted a picture of China where her eye kind of cut up like she got oh, hit in the eye. Real. They're mm, saying Tyga mm. and China have frequently been involved in a knockdown, drag-out fight. That's what they're performing up. Uh, they're reporting, and they're saying the most recent one happened during All Star Weekend. Cool, and man. man he that's just, not cool. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> hey, man, you gotta put him in there, play, boy. I mean, he is from California. <laughs> I don't know. Don't make me hurt uh, pimp. Pimp what are you trying to say about California? He's raising his pimp hand. I don't know. Don't make me hurt my pimp hand, girl. All right, Buckhead is protesting a celebrity moving. Why? To their area. I'm going to tell you why and who that is coming up next they holiday smell. season live, Streets 94.5. We are talking about a celebrity that is being protested against moving to Atlanta. Which, I heard you was moving to Buckhead. <laughs> which is funny because <laughs> we have so many celebrities that live here. I don't see what one more would be, but Buckhead does not want Justin Bieber as a neighbor, Come apparently. On, this is getting out of All hand. All right, well. It wouldn't be the egg house, the housing of the eggs. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on, really. I mean, the see, story is saying yeah, that okay. he's calling Atlanta his second home. And he's recording a project here. He's been spotted at the East Cobb County Ice Rink, Zaxby's, Phipps Plaza, movie uh -oh. theater. So he's been everywhere. Because all the menaces right. hang out at Zaxby's. He's been doing harmless <laughs> behavior out here. But we don't there's, like him. there's been a protest Justin Bieber moving to Buckhead Facebook page that's popped up. And there's been hundreds of supporters. Um, hundreds, not thousands. Hundreds, not thousands. Not thousands. Not nope. millions. Nope. The protesters have been making signs with slogans like "Keep Buckhead Bieber Free." <laughs> Are you serious? They ain't got nothing else to do. They were picketing this morning. They uh, were pick. How many people was out there? I bet they was at Zaxby's by noon. I don't know, but they were they were picketing outside of a house that he's rumored to be buying. So they were picketing Keep outside. Keep Bieber there. out of here. Justin Bieber tweeted, "I guess I'm an easy target. I'm still human. I will continue to meet hate with love." So he's not going to give it really any entertainment. But um, a resident of the Buckhead area says it's a well-established neighborhood that we like to keep quiet, private, and safe. Yeah. So he does not want. They be sending me noise complaints on my door. They know they can't tell. They can't tell it to my face though. But you're not in Buckhead. It don't matter. Okay. Don't well, matter. let's let's stick to Buckhead. They're just mean. The Buckhead Coalition president Sam Massel is saying that this is a project put together by the residents, not him. He's not against it. So. I mean, he's probably going to move in regardless, but he's the residence not. being so shady. <laughs> so if y'all see the signs out in Buckhead, you know, 
That's what's going on. They don't want Justin Bieber Crazy. around. All right. Streets 945ATL.com for more details on that story. And that's your news, Holly. Streets 945 and that's the hip hop station. Don't forget Friday night it goes down. Harlem Nights 201 Cortland Street, the biggest broadcast on a Friday night in the city. And you better damn know it, man. Y'all keep it locked. Streets 945, baby. Holidays, holidays, holiday season. Holidays.